Are we ever gonna play another board game? Listen! Ah! To cut a long story short, we had a third of the video done, but due to a major mistake, we accidentally lost the whole fucking thing! And as we were making this one, we had to restore our PC after there was random flashing, making it impossible to work on this video. But that meant we lost all of our editing. We still have the audio and raw footage, but we had to re-edit it again. So now, to make up for lost time, we've decided to play another board game. This one being a Scooby-Doo version of Betrayal at House on the Hill. Yeah. And before you ask, there's more than likely going to be some mistakes in this video, because of course there is! Just don't go taking this video too seriously. We ain't playing this in a tournament. That would be stupid as all heck. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Pyro, come here for a moment, please. There! Now you can talk properly! Hooray! Can we play the board game now? Let's go over the rules first. In regular betrayal, you explore a mansion house thing. You discover rooms, items, and omens until something spooky happens. The rules are pretty much the same as the original betrayal, but there are some changes. First off, characters can't die. When one of their stats hit the skull icon, they miss their next turn, but they get their stat restored. Second of all, damage is now general. Before, it was damage would be either physical or mental. In this game, damage can be distributed to any of your four stats. Third of all, the haunt is now decided by choosing one of the five scenarios at the start of the game. This helps to categorize the haunts from easy to hard. And finally, we can all learn about the haunt together, which we will be doing for this video. Now that we've gone over the rules, let's start the game. Give them hell, boys! Cowboys, give them a go Last one alive, <laughs> lock it to it! So before the game starts, I get an item. I got the net. We can weaken any monsters or henchmen with this. Let's pick the case of the magical mayhem. I'm gonna enter the mansion and go over here. I found the gallery, and it comes with an item. Okay, if I bury this card, which means discard it, I get two Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks allow us to re-roll one dice, by the way. But when I use a Scooby Snack as Shaggy, I can re-roll two dice. I'm going to investigate outside and go this way. And I found a campsite! Which comes with an item! Whatever haunt we get, we'll be pretty prepared for it at this rate. A wheelbarrow? I can carry any stunned or willing character in it and take them with me on my turn. Afterward, I discard it. That'll be useful if I need to take you guys with me. Now it's my turn! I'm going this way! And I found a riverboat! This tile has an event on it. Let's see what it is. You may bury one of your items cards and gain one might. If you don't have any item cards, gain one Scooby Snack instead. And since I'm ending my turn at the riverboat, I get another Scooby Snack. This is the best day ever. Let's go. This way. I found a tennis court, and it has another item. Hey, I got a box of Scooby Snacks. I have to roll one die. If I ever roll a zero, I discard the Scooby Snack Box. If I roll anything else... Nice, I got another Scooby Snack. Wait a minute. So if I'm Scooby-Doo, Engineer's Velma, Soldier's Shaggy, and Sniper is Fred, then that must mean that... <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. I'm gonna join Sniper in the mansion and go over here. Oh great, I found the library. Bee. And it has our first clue of the game. Let's see what it is before we start panicking. The idol. I get to add one to the result of my might rolls. And now I got to roll for the haunt. If we end up rolling a five or higher than the haunt starts, but it's impossible to get it on the first clue, so we're safe for now. And I still rolled a zero anyway, so we're safe for now. I'm gonna go over here. Oh piss, it's the creepy basement. And now I instantly lose one courage. That's not good at all. No shirt, Shitlock. And it's got another clue. This map is actually pretty useful. I can discard it after the haunt starts and I can just go to any discovered tile. That's very useful. But now we've got to roll again. It's still mathematically impossible to get a five here, but we've still got to do it. And we got double zeros. This is some pretty good luck so far. Don't say that, you'll jinx us, you Dinkleberg. Dinkle what? I'll split off from the group and head over here. 
I found a greenhouse. What kind of mansion has a riverboat, a tennis court, a campsite, and a greenhouse? Only one. This one. That's some pretty sound logic. This one comes with an event. Okay, so I draw the next tile, place it wherever I want, and go over there right now. And I draw a trailer. Wait a god dang minute, a trailer? This mansion is getting more and more ridiculous. And it has another event for you as well. I gotta make a brains roll. Thankfully, since I'm playing as Velma, the lowest I can roll is a three. Even if I roll a two, one, or zero, it'll count as a three. Gotcha! hee ya! I got a three anyway. Now I can go to any tile I want. I just miss out on an item. I'll head inside, to the gallery. My turn now. I'm going to the right. A well! A well! This mansion is fucking stupid as fuck! Who has all of this shit just laying around? And I found a fishing rod in the well. If I don't see a shoal tile in that deck, I'm rage quitting. Are you really complaining about the logic of this game? It's a freaking Scooby-Doo board game. Fair enough. I found an old cabin. It's got another curse. Never mind, Sniper. Pyro's our bad luck charm. I am going to pretend you didn't just call me that. But now I've got a book and now I've got to do another haunt roll. Time to take this for a spin. What did you roll? Oh, the haunt isn't happening just yet. I'm gonna go this way. The servants' quarters? Where's Miss Pauling when I need her? On a date with Spy? Whoa! Pyro, really? What the fuck? I didn't mean it as an insult. I saw Miss Pauling talking to Spy yesterday. Hold that thought. I got an event. If I spend a Scooby snack, I get one mic. That's helpful, since I started the game with three. Anyway, what were they talking about? I think they were talking about which Atmosphere game was the best in the series. If you're gonna lie, Leatherface, then make up something believable next time. Both of you, hang on a minute. I'm in the bathroom, and I got an event. If I roll high enough, I get some Scooby Snacks. Going for a different rolling technique this time. Okay, so I get the snacks, but I take one damage. Again. I'll head over here. The Hall of Mirrors, huh? And it's got another clue. I've got a bottle. As long as it ain't mad milk, I don't mind carrying it in my wheelbarrow. Now we've got four clues. This could be the one, fellas. Oh, oh shit, son! So now the haunt begins. And according to the case card, we are doing a haunt number 23. Let me read the introduction. Check this out. In this suitcase, there's a picture of four pieces of gold that fit together to make a medallion. According to the picture, there's a map that on the back of the medallion that leads to a hidden treasure. Our friend Antonio says that the pieces of the medallion are his family's heirlooms and they're hidden throughout Venice. But a terrifying warlock known as the ghostly gondolier is also here and wants to claim the treasure too. Before we can explore anymore, one of the Mystery Ink gang gets lost in the canals. Can somebody just get me a slice of pizza to calm my nerves? Zoinks! What do you think? That wasn't half bad, Scout. It says that we need to pick somebody to be the ghostly gondolier. Does anybody want to do it? Uh, me personally, I wouldn't mind doing it. That sounds good to okay, me. Okay, sure. sure. Thing. That sounds okay to me. Okay, so it says here that you get three escape tokens. Whenever you lose a fight, you lose one. If you lose a fight when you've used them all, you lose the game. Whenever we're in an event room, we can roll the dice and we could end up winning a slice of pizza. When we fight you, we can use up the pizza to add two to our dice roll. We've placed the two other locations we need to, so we can put down the treasure tokens. There's four treasure tokens you need to collect. When you get two of them, you can attempt to put them together into your medallion and win the game. But the more treasure tokens you have, the more chance you have of winning. So it starts with the player to my left. That would be you, Engineer. All right then, now that we've gone over everything, let's begin the haunt. All right, first I'll go to the bathroom where Sniper is. Then, rolling for pizza. I got a piece of pizza. Pizza time! Is that a fucking pizza tower reference? Peppino spaghetti is goated with the marinara sauce. Medic, get back in speech lab. Apologies. I was supposed to keep an eye on them. Anyway, now I'm gonna kick your ass, Sniper, with the power of my pizza. And the pizza adds two points. 
Well, that doesn't seem too bad. How much might do you have, Sniper? <laughs> the ghostly gondolier has his own stats. And he has six mighty! Oh, fuck. Save me, Tom Jones! He's even got his own red dice! He's on his villain arc! And I got a six. That means that Engineer takes three damage. Guys, I think we may be screwed. We can't give up that easily! And we will not! Got it, Google Goggles? Now! I'm on my way to help, but first I'm rolling for some pizza. Yes, I got a piece of pizza. Guys, don't forget that you can give other players your items, including the pizza you just got, soldier. That's good to know. I'm heading over too, and I'm also going to try and get some pizza. Come on. You didn't just get a slice of pizza, you got the whole damn pie. And because I'm playing as Scooby-Doo, I get to move an extra space. I'll join up with Soldier. Hooray! We can stop Sniper together! Hooray! That pizza is mine! Yeah, pizza party in the red base. In fact, after my turn, how about we order a pizza? Sounds good to me. All right, stand back, guys. I've got this. Oi, put down the monster man. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> All right, I got a six. Okay, my turn. Sniper, hurry up! Holy shit! Oh no! That's another three damage. Thank God I had the idol. Now it's my turn. Once per turn, I can grab a piece of treasure. And that's just what I'm gonna do. I'll then go over here, ready to get that treasure on my next turn. You know what? Before I roll for pizza, we need some dice on our side of the table. I want more dice! More dice! More Sword, dice! Stop more punching dice, the keyboard! I can't dice, afford another dice, keyboard, soldier! Dice, stop! More, 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 this is more, great. More, I'm gonna order the pizza in the meantime. There. Now it's perfect. I'll show you perfect, you ass clown! There, Jenga! You win! Congratulations! You son of a bitch! Now to roll for some fucking pizza! Got it! Has anybody seen the J key? I think Soldier punched it and it went flying. Next time, give me more dice! Soldier, please. Okay, I ordered the pizza and... What the fuck happened to the keyboard? Blame, Blame soldier. soldier! Soldier punched the keyboard. And I gave you my pizza. You've been better shaped to fight Sniper than I am. Thanks, Angie. That candle is still wobbling. Let me try this. Don't set the table on fire for fuck's sake! Stop shouting at me! I'm gonna use the fishing rod to pull Sniper away from the treasure and towards Pyro and me. No, no, no! Both of us get a chance to beat him up. Nice. I should kick your fucking ass! Bring it on, motherfucker. I'm also using my pizza for two extra attack. Take this, Boatman! Oh no, ah, that shit. isn't going to beat Sniper. We'll see about that. I'm going to use a Scooby Snack to re-roll two dice. Come on, man, you got this. You're right, I've got this in the bag. Fuck! My turn! Jeez. Stop blowing the dice, you dickhead! I don't care if I win, I just need you to lose! Got you, soldier! Your helmet head has been... Has what? Time to take the fight to Sniper! Bring it! Can you move my pizza afterwards? Sure! Uh-oh. Well, good thing I've saved up my Scooby Snacks. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, so that's four. Okay, I got some water. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. I don't recall asking! You dense wanker. That's another one point of damage. He's starting to whittle us down. We just gotta hit him hard. Fat chance. You guys keep blowing your load before you even get to first base. You gotta roll for pizza first. What's a load? When you're older, mentally. Just like that. Then you gotta go to her and show her how confident you are in yourself. If you're referring to me, I swear to God, Scout. Anyway, I'm going after that treasure and you can't stop me. There we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could roll the dice. And if I manage to roll high enough, I can assemble the amulet and win the game. We'll see about that, Sniper. I ain't got a snowball's chance in hell of beating you. But I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm going to fry you up and serve you with chips. Engineer gaming dice technique. Ha, huh, yeah! That's not bad at all. I'm not too sure if it'll beat Sniper's roll, though. Sorry, Engineer, but I've got to do this. Oh, fuck! I did it! The engineer just kicked his ass! That was lucky as hell! That won't happen again! I promise you that! Time for a big brain play! I'm gonna go over here and roll for some pizza! Kamehameha! Nerd! Nice! Now, I'm gonna go over here and crock at your ass! Pizza power for the win! You're not beating me twice! I'll turn your helmet into an ashtray! Five! Beat that! I will! Take this! It's only one point of damage, but he's still beating us. 
I'll take the damage in speed. I'm going to try and get some Scooby Snacks. Something crap! Now it's lost forever! Okay, we just need to be smart with how we use the ones we have left. It's not the be-all end-all. For now, I'll just head over here and get some pizza. Double crap! Something tells me that this is a sign to quit while I'm ahead. Maybe you should. But I'm not gonna! I got a slice of pizza. I'm not quitting until the game's over. Now you got two pieces of pizza. You can really do some damage against Sniper now. And that's what I'm gonna do. Pyro, I'm gonna feel really bad if I beat you. I just want you to know that. Fuck! 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 Frick! Did you just say Frick? Now it's my turn. One point of damage again? This is getting bloody ridiculous. You're telling me! Anyway, back to my charisma. When you and the woman are alone... I'm not a chick! Then, you turn up the charm and show her you are dangerous and mysterious. A seven, naturally. You're not seducing me, Scout! Consider this me swiping left! It's a... a tie? We both tie. What does that mean? I'm supposed to take damage equal to the difference between the two rolls. But since it's zero, I guess that means I take no damage and you don't get stunned. I suppose so. But I can still do something. I'm going to go over here and get some more pizza. I'm not done yet! Ah, Scout! That was right in my fucking ear. Sorry. Crap! If I appear to be getting smaller, it's because... I'm leaving! Foot! Don't fail me now! Did you say that you ordered a pizza? Yeah, while you were smashing Sniper's keyboard. Well, where is it? It's been five minutes and I am incredibly impatient. I don't fucking know! Why are you asking me? I didn't use Ubu Eats or anything. Well, I'm hungry. What do you want me to do about it? Go and get me some nachos. Get them yourself. Well, where are they? I don't know. I'm still hungry. Soldier, shut your trap. Jesus Christ. And you guys wonder why this took some long to make. Anyway, I'm going to wheelbarrow you with me, soldier, so you can catch up to Sniper. Whee! He's really focusing right now. Sh there goes my last Scooby snack. Darn, not even then! Now, now it's, it's my, my turn. turn! Can you say something other than now it's my turn? No to that, and no to my dice roll! Oh, the hell with it! I'm gonna kick Sniper's ass! What?! Wait, what now? Seriously? That's a terrible what idea! What the fuck are you doing?! He's gonna kick your ass! I'm not complaining, personally. Of course you ain't, you smart ass! Soldier's gonna get his ass kicked smart by you! Ass. That's what you sound like, Scout! Whatever! That isn't too bad, actually. It would have been better if you had some pizza, but a six isn't so bad. You shouldn't have fought him to start with. Watch! When he loses another escape token, you'll thank me. I'm not gonna thank you because he isn't gonna lose to that crappy roll of yours. It's another draw, damn it! Don't forget, soldier, that you get a Scooby snack since you ended your turn at the boat. Now, I may be all the way over here, but I can close the distance easily. But on the way there, I'm going to roll for pizza. Crap, again. Anywho, time to get to Sniper. And since he has to go that way, I'm gonna go up ahead so I can catch up to him again. Hopefully with some pizza. Speaking of that, I'm gonna roll for some. Whoa! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Everybody! Whoa! Time to kick your ass, Sniper. Bring it on, Biatch! <laughs> well, well, what the fuck did you call me? A B Y Atch. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, shut up, I'm thirsty! You sound like you're going through puberty again! Yeah, well, look at that big <laughs> dick roll I just pulled out of my pants! So much for charming women. You really didn't learn anything from Spy. Go fuck yourself, you piss fetish freak! Coming from the guy that comes in jars! Fuck! That's right, and you already know where you can stick those jars of yours. What's piss and what's calm? When you're older! Now that I beat you, I'm gonna copy Pyro and go up ahead. If you want those treasure pieces, you'll have to get through us first. Okay, well, here's my counter offer. Shit. We gotta stop him, fellas. If we don't, he'll get all of the treasure he needs. But he can only collect one treasure per turn. And if he rolls to assemble the amulet and fails, he loses one of his treasures. But still, we should stop him before then. Also, thank you for the bottle. No problem, partner. Anyway, now it's my turn. Time to fuck you, sniper. It's fuck you up, soldier. Huh. What did I say? 
Either way, I am not satisfied with that roll. Zero stars on Yelp. Time to re-roll two of my dice. Fuck! You're going down to Clown Town, mate. Go fuck yourself. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. One point of damage yet again. Why can't I hit one of you assholes for more than one point of damage? This is stupid as all heck. I'm going up ahead. He won't get his hands on this piece of treasure. He's got no choice but to come over here. I want some pizza. Wow, I mean, my chances were slim, but holy moly, this is really embarrassing. Well, uh, I guess I'll fight Sniper. A three? Oh boy. What the fuck? I could have done so much more damage that time. Damn it all! This ain't my pizza. Anyways, my turn to kick your ass. Oh, bollocks. I'm not second-guessing myself. I'm re-rolling that blank dice. With your last Scooby snack? Boom! Six damage. Beat that. I will! Ha! Take that, scunt! <laughs> this sucks on ice. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of candy. I can only grab treasure once per turn. Next turn, that treasure's mine. I'm actually going to win for once. But, ah! I can't take it anymore. I'm going to try and assemble the amulet. And it says right here that I get a plus one modifier to my roll if I'm on the deserted sawmill. And since you also add three to the result of your rolls because of the three treasures you have, you just have to roll a four to win the game. But I can only use three dice. Oh! Yes! You fucked up big time! And now I have to drop one of my treasures. <laughs> bollocks! 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 Come on, fellas. This is our chance to take the fight to Sniper. Let's kick his ass all the way back to the land of Dejeri Dudes. Oh, That's not how you pronounce it. I found the woods, and there's an event. A trap door? Oh boy. I have an idea, but I need to roll three or less. Perfect. Now I'll move over to the trailer, and before I end my turn, I'll roll for pizza. What are you planning? Alrighty, I got some. And because I'm ending my turn at the trailer, I fully heal all of my stats. Nice one, hard hat! Great idea, Engineer! Now it's Shut up! I'm gonna crock at your Aussie ass! I'm not going down that easily, soldier! You understand me? I'm not losing this game! We'll see about that, Mr. Bluey Cork Hat Foot Thong Thingies and Sydney Opera House! I don't even know what any of that means! Well, anyway, I'm re-rolling two of my dice. There is no universe where a four beats me! Soldier takes one damage. Why can't I put one of you guys away? How do you keep getting away with only one damage? I'm going over here. I found a cave. It has a clue and a strange symbol. That symbol is for one of the rooms in the mansion. We just haven't found it yet. Okay then. In any case, I got a suitcase. I now have to open it and get an item. Here's hoping it's something good. Here's hoping it's not. A banana? <laughs> How can a banana stop Sniper? Please, please, just give me a perfect four. I just want some pizza! <laughs> You sounded like the FNAF scream! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Even Pyro is laughing! I'm surrounded by assholes! Give me back my golden checks piece. I'm just gonna kick your ass, soldier! So I don't have to fucking deal with you anymore! You will not defeat me! I am undefeatable! Bullshit. I mean, I do have to agree with Sniper here. Scooby Snack, don't fail me now! No! Yes! Damn it! He got me out! And now you're stunned on your next turn, too. The freaking game might be over by then. Fingers crossed. Shut up, sniper. Well, I'm still here, I'm gonna roll for pizza. Again. Darn. Well, time to get to sniper before he wins the game. You're awfully calm right now. You have no idea what goes on in the mind of an engineer. Yay, I'm back, but boo, I'm stunned. Shoot. I've gotta go after sniper now. If I don't, he'll get all of his treasure back and might end up winning the game. I think you gotta do it. Sorry, Pyro, it's nothing personal. I know, I just hope you don't take this too seriously. Take what seriously? I'm using this banana to move a character on the same tile as me. And since that includes you... W w wait time out! Sorry, Sniper, Hang on, but you're Pyro, going to wait. have to wait your turn. Son of a Way bitch! Way to go, fella! Son, you have made me and George Washington proud! Yeah, Pyro coming in clutch! Nice one, dude! Thanks, guys. I'm not too sure if Sniper likes it, though. Anyway, now we've got half a chance of beating him. 
I've got four might, and he ain't got a chance of stopping us now. I want to win just once, just once, in my life. And I'm not losing my last escape token to you, Scout. So, carry the three, then... Does that mean that I die? Well, not that I didn't enjoy my little walk around the cave, but it's time to end this bloody game once and for all. He just needs to roll a three and he's won. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I think he's had fuck, enough of fuck, this game. Fuck, I think he's had enough fuck, of board fuck, game night. Fuck, oh man, fuck, I just got here. Fuck, well, if Medicine fuck, Man ends up making another fuck, one, I'm sure fuck, he'll include fuck, you. My god, he's still going! Fuck, Sniper, fuck, shut the fuck up, you hippie! Fuck, fuck, Whatever. Fuck, I've gotta stop him while we still can. And I've got two pizzas this time. I think I can only give one item to you, soldier, so here! Thanks, Edgy. Now to kick your ass, Sniper. How's that? You know what, soldier? Just like Medic last board game night, I've got two words to say to you. Get fucked! Yeah, okay, I can already tell. I'm dead. Okay, well, I'm only mostly dead. Big difference. Okay, I really don't know what to do here. I guess I'll roll for pizza and give it to Engineer. Since Engineer with two pizzas will be stronger than me with just one. Wait a minute. Couldn't you just take a pizza from me, Pyro? Oh, shit. There, I'm back up, but it doesn't matter. Sniper's about to win! Don't jinx me, Scout! Did you say that I had to roll a three to make eight to win the game? I... I did, yeah. Heh. <laughs> that means that... I win! I finally won a board game! I did it! I won! Congratulations, Sniper! No, Pyro. It's very big for him. He's been here for every board game night, and he's never won. He lost at Red Dragon Inn, Muffin Time, Betrayal at House on the Hill, which he did win, actually, but he had help. And four souls. But this time, he won all by himself. Thanks for the game, mates. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to celebrate. Spy! It finally happened! I can't even get upset about it. He's been playing these board games here for so long, and he finally won. Even though I won the first one, but still. Well, all in all, I'm happy for him. Yeah. Me too. Hey, um, can I flip the table? Only if we do it together. Ready? One, two, three! Wait, where are we? What the fuck? Hang on a minute. Where's the pizza? It's... Perfect. That's our pizza, you blue fuck! I am hungry, and I don't care if I have to eat your stomach alive. I will dine on pizza one way or another. Oh, fuck. Surprise cameo, biatch! Marasmus! Yes! Marasmus has arrived for pizza! Ah, screw it. Pizza party at the Red Base! Personally, I can't really get into the original anymore. But maybe that's just because of it being the same each time. I agree. But that's just due to the technology that was around at the time. Nowadays, you can program it into an app, like with the app they made around 2019. I feel like out of all six original games, before they moved to the DVD format, the fourth one, Vampire, was easily the worst one. Did they even play test it before they released it? Hard to say, but the vampire mechanic could have worked, just not the way they thought at the time. They ruin any immersion as a result, since you could very well stop playing and be forced to watch the other players have fun without you. So, Miss Pauling, did you really ask me to call you to discuss the Atmosphere board games? Yes. I fucking knew it! Mm -hmm.